Ooh-wee, y'all. Before I get started, Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening. And thank you for tuning in in advance. First thing first, I want to thank every last one of you who has subscribed and got me to where I am now. Because we made it to a thousand subscribers, guys. And I was just, I was excited. Like, wait a minute, we made it to a thousand, you know? Now, it's only, well, it was only up from here anyway. But, you know, let's get it. So, baby, when I tell you everybody has been out cutting the fool <laughs> this past weekend, it, it, it just amazed me. Like, I was going to do this reading, I want to say maybe yesterday. I was supposed to do this like maybe two days ago. I was going to tap in Sunday and Monday because there was this weird energy around Tasha K. That's who this reading is for. And she was attacked while doing a reunion show by transgender castmates. And then next thing I know, when I get ready to get up and do that reading, I see on uh, YouTube, Sean Davey Way, he was the first one I saw that posted this. She had went to an influencer event in Miami and there was a whole melee, some situation with the guy. And I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. You know, she didn't, she didn't put them shoes on his forehead, right? Y'all, I go to bed, take a nap because I was putting together my office. And I see that the guy decides he wants to speak out. I don't know where they found Coon Lily, but this man is a whole clown and a fool. Now, I don't want to take sides on either side of what happened because we're going to do this reading to tap into the energy. But him going live and him speaking, and he was like, you know, I ain't even disrespect her. You would have thought I grabbed her by the, by the, the cookies, okay? And he, he says, well, I walked up to her and I told her she was looking good in that ass. You know, it wasn't no disrespect. And it's like... I don't know who taught you how to compliment a woman, especially a woman that you know is a married woman, but I'm pretty sure you could have told her that she looked good or she was wearing that dress in a nicer way than you looking good in that ass. Like, <laughs> then the guy starts to plug his podcast and it's like, you know what? All of this was for that moment. This man had on a whole entire box of band-aids y'all he said he went to the hospital he said you know his, my, his neck and his back was hurting he woke up and the first thought on his mind was Tasha and he was scared he was nervous he was going through all these emotions he's talking about suing and whatnot and it was and then he says he does comedy and it's like honey you don't do comedy you just a fool I mean, if you saw the way he had the band-aids on, there's no way in the world he went to emergency and they put those band-aids around all his damn fingers like that. He literally had on an entire first aid kit worth of band-aids. But, <laughs> y'all, uh, I haven't heard Tasha say anything on this um, either event. The reunion show um i only heard her speak partially on that but she hasn't spoken at all as far as i know of of the incident with the guy at the event so <laughs> let's go ahead on and get down to it because man oh man it seemed like everybody was going through something this weekend All right, show me the energy around Tasha K and the violence that was around her this weekend. 
Hmm. Okay, so Queen of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ten of Wands. Now, I don't know Tasha's sign, but the Queen of Swords is a wordsmith. She can be sharp with her words, also a businesswoman, so that definitely fits Tasha. Ten of Wands, this is having the weight of the world on your shoulders, and this was definitely a tumultuous situation. Oh, excuse me, that was the Lovers. My bad, y'all. I was looking down at this card. The lovers. So this will represent her and her husband, uh, Sheck. And then here we go, the Ten of Wands. Like I said, this was the weight of the world on her shoulders. Very, very tumultuous situation. So the star at the bottom of the deck. The star is a card that represents hope. Also contracts, negotiations, and agreements. And star power. So, we know that, you know, for her to show up and do the reality show reunion, she had to be contracted for that. Eight of Cups. This is walking away from a relationship or walking away from relationships because a certain truth came out. Now, this is an interesting turn of events. Why would she be walking away from a certain relationship or a certain energy, maybe um, business relationships or certain people due to a certain truth coming out, allegedly? Okay, so once again, like I said, hope, contract, negotiation, and agreement. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles, page of wands, nine of wands. So three of pentacles represents, you know, going into business or a uh, contract because marriage is a form of contract. And that's usually what the three of pentacles represents. A page of wands is like new opportunities. So she was going into like certain business relationships and contracts and agreements that were going to bring new business, new opportunities. And then here it is, Nine of Wands, which is the wounded warrior. That is literally somebody getting wounded over and over again or being attacked. So this is showing right here, her going into contract negotiation and agreement with uh, this reality show. They were supposed to go into business. This was supposed to possibly turn into you know, more opportunities to come after this, uh, depending on how this one turned out. Why did uh, these people attack her? What, what is this energy about? Okay, so the sword represents a particular truth, something that was said or a harsh truth. that caused somebody to be or feel betrayed allegedly. And this is like the point of no return because 10 of swords is the ultimate betrayal. So what is this ultimate betrayal? What could have possibly been said or done that led to a 10 of swords? Something was said that had to do with um, this agreement and a third party. So third party, page of wands. Page of wands, once again, is new opportunities um, or messages about new opportunities. Um, this could be like also gossiping or somebody, you know, with the behind the scenes track on new opportunities or something that was supposed to come out of this. Ten of Swords falling up under the lovers. That's her and Shrek being betrayed. Um, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles is like, you know, going into, you know, going into or looking into 
new financial opportunities that are going to flourish into something larger. Also, you know, dealing with somebody or dealing with something and finding out that you've been <clears throat> breadcrumbed on something. <clears throat> something is choking me, goodness gracious. Almost like a bait and switch. Somebody was breadcrumbed on something, allegedly. So once again, this, this opportunity falling under the Ten of Wands ended up being a huge burden. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, I keep feeling like something was said, something came across harsh or something was very true and it was not received well. Page of Pentacles, uh, Eight of Cups. That's, yeah, walking away from a situation due to being breadcrumbed. Um, it didn't turn out to be what it was supposed to add up to be. Also, um, somebody wanting an apology. Nine of Swords, this is heavy anxiety. Now, who's a heavy anxiety? Because this is no rest for the wicked, no rest for the weary. Um, this is also possibly being paranoid about something death so it's like all hope of anything coming to fruition out of any working with this company or any contract that was with this company has you know come to a final end because death is a, a transition through an end but it's a final transition that brings a new beginning after some type of communication came through and it came through very swiftly because the Knight of Swords literally moves at the, the speed of light. So I don't know if this was gossip that was uh, said or somebody contacted somebody with a message, but it was like as soon as this message came through, it changed the tenor of everything. Who sent this message or what was this message about? Okay, so the devil falling under truth. Ace of Swords. Um, this is like somebody being very toxic and obsessive. Once again, about a truth, about something that was said. Somebody did not like the communication. Y'all, uh, enlighten me down in the comments because I don't know anything about the reality show um, that she was doing. This um, reunion show for. But I feel like somebody sent a message to somebody that was there on the set. And when that message came through, it, it brought a huge cloud of toxicity. Also, there was something that was said either by Tasha or somebody in Tasha's camp that was definitely not received well, even though it was something that could have been in truth. And a chariot is a card that is a, um, a signifier of yes, or forward movement with something, expansion of something, moving forward with something. So it was like, as uh, soon as whatever this was, was clarified or was understood it was a go and literally it was a go like right then right there no time to think about it blink of an eye like lightning let's get it notice the artist and message that's very intriguing to me because the artist and message, that means somebody that is within the industry sent some type of message or, yeah, they, it, allegedly somebody within the industry sent a message and it, it sparked a powder keg. But it was like tensions were high anyway
And you got this, yeah, you got this Queen of Swords, which we have established as Tasha because Tasha has, you know, um, the gift of gab, but she has a sharp tongue. And when she speaks, she is not always, you know, um, she's not always as cool or as tact as people would like her to be um like i said this is her card and you got the three of pentacles which is somebody who is a third party and the knight of swords so this third party was an instigator there was somebody playing the middle in this situation chariot the lovers the ten of swords the chariot like i said it was a go this uh ten of swords moment it, it was literally um on on site will of fortune now it's kind of interesting that this will of fortune would come out after i'm saying it was on site allegedly because this is like somebody had something to gain and it was substantial. Now, you know, in the world of TV, that could be camera time. Okay. It could be anything that could turn over or roll over into, you know, um, a substantial situation that benefits people later. Now here's this artist again, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, the artist. Um, somebody felt like they were put in a position to where they were made to be in a, a complicated space with how they were positioned and how they moved into other opportunities and this is what sparked this hand-on-hand -hand combat but I feel like there was a significant uh, person that was in the middle of all this that was an instigator and that instigator is the one who in a in a sense allegedly played telephone and got people in this energy which got this whole thing cracking because five of wands is laying the hands feet and whatever else needs to be laid that's you know physical fighting king of pentacles will of fortune four of wands now y'all this is alleged i can't prove this there is no way to prove this once again this is alleged but this looks like somebody put a bounty on the floor. And whoever picked it up got a nice piece of change, allegedly. It was to help their stability because Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, they needed to walk away from this relationship with this party that they were trying to seek new opportunities with and if they did it I'll see to it that you level up abundance comes your way and you'll have stability but you're going to have to walk away from this person and if you do so swiftly this unrequited offer for them of course not for you it's going to lead you to victory. So I'm going to tap out of that energy from behind the scenes at the reality show. Because <laughs> that's messed up. Allegedly, there's an outside force who, you know, um, put something in the air. And there was an instigator who played telephone and got everybody all riled up. And I don't know if this is going to come out anytime soon, but 
this is the energy that I'm seeing. So, um, let me see, what deck am I about to use? Because I want to tap into the energy around what happened at this influencers event. Um, I'll use the musical tarot. We'll do that one. So, what actually happened between Tasha K and the guy at the influencers event? Because I noticed one thing. Tasha, you know, she hadn't said anything, but the guy kept saying that word was he allegedly, he tried to make it seem like people were accusing him of touching her and he didn't essay her. All he said was, you looking good. That ass is looking good on you in that dress. And that wasn't disrespectful according to him. And I, I found that interesting that he kept saying that over and over again that people were making comments to him as if he may have touched her. And it's like, why would you keep putting that out there if that's not what happened? So... Let's tap into it. Ten of Cups. Okay. Ten of Cups is not only family, but that's ultimate wish fulfillment. See this Queen of Swords and King of Swords. That's her and her husband. Damn it. If that don't look something like check. Okay. So, this represents family. This is like Tasha and her husband. They, they came out, bottom of the deck, justice. So the energy that I'm getting is that what happened from energetically from the energy around her and her husband, this was justified. Uh, let's tap into why. Temperance. Okay, so temperance is bringing balance through a new beginning. Uh, Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. So Ace of Cups speaks on not just love, but it speaks on fulfillment and action. So they feel like the fulfillment of this action was justified. It brought balance through a new beginning because, okay, Three of Swords, that is a heartbreak that was laid to rest due to a unrequited offer that now possibly brings regret. Why is this an unrequited offer? What happened? Six of Swords. Moving forward towards victory. Will of Fortune. So, that can be taken two ways. Because the guy wants to move forward towards victory on them, allegedly, through possibly taking them to court. Um... I'm not getting that energy as of yet, though. Here we go. Seven of Swords and the Fool. So this is sneaky energy. This man took a leap of faith falling under the Queen of Swords with Tasha. What was this leap of faith? Let's get down to it. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Under check. Ace of Coins. Listen, he did this on purpose to get a bag. Because temperance, balanced through a new beginning, uh, falling over the ace of coins, he set this up. He did what he did. He approached her. He put himself in this position, allegedly, because we're on YouTube. But he put himself in this position, allegedly, so that he could get a bag. But it's going to be an unrequited offer. And it's so funny, I can hear Tasha in my head saying, I ain't got it. But that's not looking like why it's going to be unrequited. Let's, let's tap into that. Knight of Cups. So he did more than just talking about you, that ass look good in that dress. Or how did he say it? It was ignorant either way. It was ignorant and remedial. So he approached her 
trying to, you know, put his Mac down because Knight of Cups is, this is you trying to, you know, give an offer. And that offer was unrequited because it led to heartbreak. So, come on now. So, because he was trying to, you know, get in Tasha's, uh, you know, get under Tasha's dress, Tasha turned him down. He couldn't get what he wanted out of the situation. He turned this into a situation for prosperity for himself, allegedly. King of Coins falling under the Four of Swords. Him becoming the King of Coins is going to be laid to rest. Look at this. Look at this. The Tower and the Eight of Cups. Come on now. He's going to have to walk away from this. He's going to have to abandon ship. He's going to have to let this go. This is going to be a loss. I told y'all this fool had on a whole entire damn box of damn ace bandages. He literally had on a whole entire first aid kit of dollar store bandages. The way he had his fingers bandaged up, there's no way he even drove past the emergency room, let alone went in there the way he had those band-aids on. He a whole clown and a fool. <laughs> and it says it right here. Listen. Let's go a little deeper. Knight of Swords. Okay. Once again. It is like people are being sent to her. She's, she's going to have to be very careful about how she travels, how she communicates, where she goes and what she does. Because it's like energy is being sent to her. And this is intentional, allegedly. Okay? So, Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Swords. And then the bottom of the deck, Will of Fortune. These people are intentionally crossing her path and coming after her so that they can siphon uh, income from her. Interesting turn of events. Knight of Wands. Now, I told y'all he approached her. Knight of Wands. This is Mr. Here for a good time, not the long time. This is, you know, Mr. Longstroke. If, if his stroke is long, this, this was his intention when he approached Tasha. He, I mean, of course he was in managed energy because the way that he called himself complimenting her where he said he wasn't being disrespectful, this says completely different. The fool on top of the Knight of uh, Wands, he was completely disrespectful. He was ignorant. And this is Chuck Berry. So if you know the history of Chuck Berry, and some of the things that he got caught up in, he got caught up in some weird stuff with recording people in the restroom. I ain't going to, you know, go in depth with that. But, you know, take a pick through Miss uh, Miss Google. Miss Google will definitely let you know about some of the weird stuff that he was into. And this is the type of energy that this guy approached her in. Once again, bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. So... I'm going to end this uh, right here. We're going to keep this one short and sweet. Um, Tasha, girl, <laughs> you're going to have to be very careful about who approaches you and how you deal with people from here on out because it looks like people are sending some weirdos your way. And allegedly, some of this is looking intentional. So I don't know who has it out for you. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It is quite interesting that it's also happening in Florida. And I feel like whoever this is that's sending people to you, y'all both have ties to that same place. So either um, try to stay away from the places with the ratchets or get you some security guards that got one hit of quarters and they knock them out the first time. Either way, you might need to avoid going out around people for a minute until some of this energy dies down. But I thank you everyone in advance for watching this video. And 
I'm going to get back with y'all later. I got a couple more videos to knock out today. It looks like I said, everybody was laying of the hands this weekend, allegedly, but we're going to tap into it. And this reading is adjourned. Thank you for watching.